Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are well and good. So today in this video, we are going to start a new chapter. Chapter number five. Let's learn logo. Okay. So children, we can communicate with the computer in a language that it can understand. Of course, we can communicate with the computer, but in a language that is understand by the computer only. So there are various type of computer languages, as I've told you in my previous videos that uh, logo, COBOL, Pascal, these are the computer languages which are understood by the computer only. Okay, so now let us introduce to this to one of these language that is logo. So children, logo stands for language of graphics oriented. Okay, see here logo, the full form of logo is language of graphics oriented. Now it is very simple computer language and is very easy to learn and use. Of course, the language is very easy computer language and it is very easy to use as well as you can uh, you can learn this language very easily clear so children now we will learn how to open this software see here in the screen as i'm showing first of all what you have to do you have to type logo in this search box see l o g o and here it came microsoft windows logo okay you just have to click over here and the software will open you have to click on this ok and now and the software is open you see this is the screen this is the window of logo okay now we will learn about the parts of the logo screen as you can see here the upper portion of the logo screen is known as the main screen the upper portion of the logo screen is the main screen and the lower portion of the logo is the commander window Okay, from where you will give the command and the action will be performed on the upper screen that is the main screen. Okay, these are the two parts of the logo window. Here children, as you can see here children, in the upper portion that is on the main screen, this is the drawing area. Okay, you can see this portion, the white portion where the turtle is there, one turtle is there. This is the drawing area and the triangle you can, which you are looking at uh, in the middle of the screen this triangle is the turtle okay the name of the triangle is the turtle so and at the at the top you can see this is the menu bar of the main screen okay children now children at the bottom of this logo window you can see this is the commander window okay this one is the commander window and in this commander window you can see this is the recall list box here you can see the position the middle position this is the this is known as the recall list box okay and the and the portion which is at the bottom where you will type your commands this is the input box what is this children input box and and these are the buttons these uh, these are the buttons of the commander window these are the very important buttons which you will use while you will type anything or while you will um, do any work in logo okay so children the commander window is divided into three sections the commander window is divided into three sections what are those first this is the input box okay it is the area where the logo commands are written whatever the commands you will give you have to write in this input box okay next this is the recall list box as you can see here this is the recall list box it maintains a list of all the commands that you type in the input box whatever the commands you are typing in the input box those commands you can see in this recall list box and the next are the buttons okay buttons there are some buttons that are present on the commander window as you can see here these are the buttons so these buttons are called the control buttons what are these buttons called control buttons okay some of the frequently used buttons from this control buttons are the reset button and the execute button okay so why we use the reset button this button is used to clear the logo main screen suppose you have drawn something in the logo main screen to clear that drawing we can use this reset button and after that comes the execute button this button is used to run or execute the commands suppose you have typed any command in the input box suppose you have typed any command in the input box and <coughs> you want to execute that command so for that execution you have to click on this execute 
button okay this execute button is given we can also press the enter key to execute the commands of course we can also press the enter key on the keyboard to execute the command instead of pressing the execute button both you can do you can press the execute button as well as you can press the enter key to execute the commands okay now children after this let it be up to this in in this video okay one practice zone is given after this one practice zone is given in page number 84 okay there are two columns are given column a and column b you have to do this as homework okay you have to do this as homework and i will discuss this homework in our next doubt clearing class okay children let it be up to this thank you very much